Welcome back. In this next video, we're going to go ahead and select a machine to run on. We're going to make sure our fixtures, our chucks, everything are set up. And then we're going to go ahead and load the part onto the machine. Let's begin. I'm going to start by going to my machining folder just because I like to organize myself. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to come down to machining. And this is going to create a blank machining template. And I'm going to go ahead and go into this machining template and I'm going to load a machine. Now, I like to go right to where it says the machine here in my NC Operations Manager and just left mouse button click. But if you don't like that, you can always go to your Equipment tab and go here to select a machine as well. Either methodology takes you to the same place. Now, next I'm going to look at all of my machines. And here I'm going to look at a machine that does everything, milling, turning, everything. And I'm going to go down until I find the machine that I want to use. Now, in this case, I've decided I want to use a... DMG CTX Beta 1250. Go ahead and hit my green check mark. Like that, you can see I have my machine. Next, what I need to do is I need to load the chuck that I want to use. Well, here's how we do that. I'm going to go to my references. In references, I have a library that I have predefined. Okay, you're going to predefine your own libraries in Top Solid with the fixturing that you use. So I have one called Chuck. So I'm just going to double click on it. I'm going to expand my chucks. I'm going to go to my standard three draw chucks. And in this case, I'm just going to use a simple roam chuck. I'm going to drag and drop it into my design space. Green check mark. And now I'm going to use rotative selection because I'm in constraint mode. And I'm going to hold my left button down, tap my right so I get that entire frame. Go down to this frame, hold my, my left button down, tap my right until it highlights the whole frame. And just like that, I have fully constrained the location of my chuck. Now notice the jaws of my chuck, of course, work. I'm going to load those straight up this way. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to here and make sure inclusion and last positioning is active. And this is so that when I bring in my part to cut, it puts it into the same positioning group as the chuck so that I can finalize all those constraints together. Now that I've validated my positioning group, Topsot also wants to know what kinematic element is this object attached to, and here it chose the main spindle because it's in contact with the main spindle solid. Perfect. Last step here. You see that we have all these arrows and things. This is the kinematic representation of how the chuck functions. We don't need to really see any of those things, so I'm going to go to my entities tree. I'm going to go to mechanisms and hit the plus sign. I'll go to joints here and hit the check mark to hide those objects. Last step. It's now time to add our machine part. So I'm going to go back to my project, go back to where my machine part setup file is right here, and now I'm going to drag and drop include that into the design space. Because it's a more complicated part, I'm also going to activate stock faceted. Stock faceted just switches from true solid mode to polyhedron mode. That's all you need to know. It's a faster stock model. Notice I'm back into the same position group as the chuck. So here to start with, I'm going to select this cylinder and I'm going to bring it to the cylinder of my chuck. Kind of perfect, but it threw the part inside, so I'm just going to left click, drag it back out here. The balloon of axis on axis that was created, I'm going to go here, double click on the icon and invert it. Then maybe here we'll take this face to this face. Why not? And now what I want to do is I want to take and use a plane on surface command. That's this one right here. I'm going to choose this plane to that surface. And watch what happens. Now my jaw is closed directly on my part. Perfect. Like that, I'm going to validate. Again, it wants to know what the part holder is. It's the main spindle. That's important. And you'll notice even Top Solid made my G54 for me. So now we're ready to rock. We have the fixture loaded. We have the part and stock loaded. We have our G54 defined. It's now to make time to make tool path. And we'll do that in the next video.